Um, could you guys imagine what it'd be like to really have like a Santa Claus hat, like a mall Santa Claus hat? Could you imagine just smelling it? All the tears and fear that it would offer you? Anyway, guys, I got a phone call. Hang on. What's up? Oh, man. Yeah, you know what I'm doing right now? Oh, uh, I hope you're not masturbating. Well, that's a good guess. That would that would almost be accurate had I not been doing what I'm doing now. Do you want to know? You're sitting. <laughs> no, man. I mean, I, I mean, I am regurgitating something out of my orifice, but I'm uh, I'm shooting a uh, video right now. Oh, uh -huh. that's great. Is the camera rolling? The camera is rolling. That's nice. That's real nice. I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry. I can't help but look at this thing. It's small. It's pathetic, and it's it's never going to please a woman. And it's uh, I don't know. Nah. Yeah, you guessed it. It's a small little stack of a uh, Blu-rays and a few DVDs in there. But you know what? It's not about the size. It's about the quality. And. Uh, I'd say there's some there's there's some primo stuff in this this little stack. Um, oh, and before we jump into the movies and we talk about all the the fun juicy stuff, I wanted to let you guys know um, my computer just got a virus yesterday. Uh, a, com a computer virus. Uh, I was on a site exploring my uh, my um, what is it? My curiosities had peaked. And I was trying to express myself artistically. How's that? Anyway, um, a virus popped up on my screen. All kinds of weird shit started flying. Um, and I've had this happen before. And I just, I, you know, I set my computer back a few days and it fixes it. But this time it wiped out everything on my hard drive. So uh, my editing, all my videos that I saved on my um, backup hard drive, everything's gone. I have none of it anymore. And... Uh, it hurt. It really hurt me. Afterwards, I, I punched myself in the face. I'm not lying. I actually did punch myself in the side of the head. But anyway, before I start crying, I'm going to make a video all about that. Um, and if you guys want to check that out, I'm going to put that on my other channel, which is right here. It's called uh, John Flickster. Um, that's where I do all my weird kind of odd things and I rant about things. And I drive around and I interact with society just a little bit. So anyway, before I start crying, um, let's jump into the movies. So first up is Mission Impossible, the uh, Blu-ray trilogy, and um, you get Mission Impossible 1, 2, and 3, obviously, because I said trilogy. And this is, right now, this is $19.99 at Best Buy, and you can't beat that, considering how they're selling each one of the movies for $10 a piece. That makes sense, Best Buy. And, you know, but I'm going to say one thing about Tom Cruise as an actor, especially in recent years. Tom Cruise, when he's uh, portraying a, a role, I don't see him as that character. All I see is Tom Cruise up there on the screen. And I, I can't, you know, decipher the difference. You know, it's I just see Tom Cruise. I, I can't help myself. I really think the first one's the best. Um, the second one's a little too John Woo. And, I'm you know, John Woo's made some great movies. You know, he's made... Um, Face Off, he's made, what else do I have? Oh, Broken Arrow. You can go see the new Mission Impossible movie, Ghost Protocol. So, you know, it's like a free movie ticket. And then you have Mission Impossible 3, which I really don't remember anything about the movie. But anyway, for uh, 20 bucks, you can't beat all three movies. And real quick, real quick, here's, here's what made me actually buy it. It actually came with this little sticker that comes on the front. Um, it's, a, it's a movie ticket up to uh, $10. So next up, it's 30 Minutes or Less with Jesse Eisenberg, Aziz Ansari, who, in my opinion, I don't think the guy belongs in movies. He just doesn't seem like he should be in movies. He should be on TV. I don't know. And then Danny McBride, who, um, yeah, kind of a one-dimensional kind of guy. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to say about Danny McBride, but I will talk about Nick Swords in here for, for just a moment. Um, I actually enjoy Nick Swardson. I know a lot of people hate him, but the thing about him is he's so odd and bizarre and he's not human. It's like watching an alien up on the screen whenever he's on. I know that's weird and you might not understand what I'm saying. Neither do I, but uh, let's just keep going. 
The one big complaint I have about this movie was it was a little bit lackluster when you really do think about it because um, it came from the director of Zombieland, so you're thinking it's going to be something big and original, and it really just kind of, I don't know, it was just passive. You know, it really just did enough to get by. Um, I really wanted more of him delivering pizzas. Call me crazy, but I just wanted to see him driving around delivering pizzas and having, you know, uh, quippy encounters with people. That's that's what I wanted. But anyway, it looks pretty good on Blu-ray. And if you can find this cheap, I recommend buying it. Um, I paid 20 bucks. I think that's a few dollars more than I should have paid. But you know what? Um, you, you only live once, damn it. Alrighty, next up, what I might consider to be one of the best movies of the year, and uh, I'm going to stick by that, and it's Rise of the Planet of the Apes, uh, starring James Franco and uh, Andy Serkis. Alrighty, real quick before we get into this, I'm going to cut to my Mark Wahlberg impression. And one of the best lead roles in a movie I've ever seen was Caesar the Damn Ape. A CGI ape with a little bit of mocap behind him and Andy Serkis bringing that damn thing to life. Um, the picture quality in this looks... It looks great. Um, at first, when I was watching it, it looked like it had a little bit of too much warmness in it, um, especially in some of the, the flush tones. It looked a little bit too warm, but um, I don't know. I think that's just the way they made the damn movie, um, and especially throughout the movie, it kind of tones down, and, and uh, the picture quality, especially when they're on the uh, San Francisco, um, the Golden Gate Bridge. Yeah, um, uh, I have common sense, just a little bit. Anyway, the uh, the whole action scene that takes place on that bridge on Blu-ray just looked really cool. You have all the apes. You have um, James Franco kind of whimpering around, not really doing much other than chasing Caesar. And one of the coolest things in the bonus features was Andy Serkis. I'm going to put this down. Was when he was hopping around on his stilts in his mocap suit, uh, emulating, emulating, imitating, imitating, yeah, a monkey. Um, it, really, he his movements are just like an ape. It's It's pretty bizarre. Alrighty, the last movie or movies of uh, the uh, little update here is um, it's Mulan 1 and 2, the Disney animated movies. And I found these in a pawn shop in Chicago. And uh, I'm going to tell you guys a little bit. I don't care, you know. Uh, I was going to make this a short video. Let me put my legs up here on the bed. <clears throat> uh, I went to Chicago a few weeks ago and I went to a few pawn shops. And this is, this is like the only good thing I found. Um, I paid $3 for both movies, and right now, um, this set on Amazon is going for like 60 something dollars, so not a bad find. Plus, the Mulan movies, I didn't have them, I needed them for my Disney collection to uh, complete the midlife crisis um, area over here. Um, anyway, um, let me talk about the pawn shops in Chicago. Um, very scary place, okay? Very, um, I did not fit in there. Um, very awkward. Um, I, it wasn't, I don't know. It's not a, it's not somewhere I'm going to go back anytime soon. Um, yeah. So anyway, guys, I'm John with the Flick Pick channel. Um, stay tuned. Um, subscribe right here or I don't know, you know, it's up to you. You know, here's the, here's the annotation, but if you guys don't want to click it, that's fine. If you're already a subscriber, I appreciate it very much. Thank you. Um, without you, I'm nothing. I'm a, uh, I'm, I'm a, a shell of a man. So anyway, I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.